Hey guys, welcome back to my Ankara Nation YouTube channel. My name is Lizzie. If you are just joining us on this channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful Ankara fascinator for my head. You are welcome to the tutorial. So guys, we're on the making of Ankara Fancinator. These are the materials I will be using. Ankara fabric, Evo stick gum, scissors, fancy comb, candle wires. This is paper fiber. I will be using it also. So now on your paper fiber, you get a round, a circular object and draw out a round shape on it. I'm using this basket to draw my shape. I'll place it on it. Use my chalk to trace it out. After tracing my circle out, this is what I have. So I'll use my scissors to cut it out. cutting this is what we have now i want to get the center of this paper fiber i will just fold it so you fold it i want to get the middle of this thing of this paper fiber you can use your tape to measure it so that you get the middle this is eight so the middle is four you just mark the middle then open it and draw a straight line to one side of the paper fiber then we'll go ahead and form a triangle we'll draw another line like this and another line like this So, after cutting, this is what we have. What I will do is I will just place one side of this on the other side to form a cone. This is the type of fascinator we want to make. So I'll go ahead and apply my gum to make it stick together. Add your candle wax to one side and place the other side on it. So from the So after gumming, this is what we have. So now I will go ahead and use my Ankara fabric to cover it. This one I've already cut it out, and this one I use the same. I use the same basket to to trim them out. This one was exact the same thing. I just use my chalk to circle it around and I trim it, and I did the same thing for this one too. But when I wanted to cut this one out, I cut it out in excess so you can see the excesses at the edge that's how i got these two cycles so we'll use this bigger one to cover the outside then i'll use this other one to cover the inside so now i'll go ahead and apply gum then cover it So after adding your gum, you allow it to dry a bit because of the kind of gum we are using before you cover it with your Ankara fabric. So use your hand to smoothen it. So after 
adding your fabrics you turn it to this side because it's a cycle you have to knot the head the edges of the material before you can start folding it in i am done nodding nodding notching the edges of the material i want to go ahead and gum this please when you are doing your own allow it to dry allow your gum to dry a little before you go so i'm done folding it in this is how it will look like then we'll go ahead and wrap the inside the with this same material i will just apply my my gum inside and apply my entire fabric so after adding gum please wait a little for it to dry then add the gum Remember, we I cut out something like triangle from from one part of the paper fiber. That's why I'm having this excess. So I will go ahead and open it and cut a little bit out. So I can just lap this other one on this one so that this excess will go off like this so i am done adding my gummy my fabrics you turn it if you are having any excess after gumming the inside, you can pick your scissors and just trim off those excesses. So I'm done trimming. So we have a very neat fascinator now. So now I will go ahead and add my um, fancy comb at one side of the fascinator. You can as well use your elastic or your Alice band. Use your candle wax. Add it. Add your elastic or your Alice band or your fancy comb. Me, I'm going to be using fancy comb now. So I apply. I use my candle wax. Apply a little. Then just press your fancy comb and allow it to dry. So this is the finished product of our Kara fancy. It is it's beautiful.